Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Reid and I'm a naturopathic doctor and this is a video about whether you can heal or resolve Hashimoto's thyroiditis by getting rid of heavy metals. So this is a really great question that someone asked and uh, trying to heal Hashimoto's like when people ask how do I get rid of this? How do I heal this? It, it warms the cockles of my heart because um, a lot of times when folks have a diagnosis of Hashimoto's um, they are told, you know, this is something that you're just going to have to live with. There's no cure for it, etc. And, and while it is true that there is no, you know, established cure for it, uh, at least not in any published medical textbooks that I've that I've come across, but um, it, there are certainly case reports where folks um, have a significant reduction in their antithyroid antibodies um, and or um, case reports where patients are no longer testing positive for those antithyroid antibodies and they're feeling really good and their thyroid labs look fine and they're not on their thyroid medication. So, um, I mean, by my definition, I would say that sounds like a cure to me, but you know, anyways, it's it's a little bit of a semantics thing, but um, so if the question is, can getting rid of heavy metals um, uh, completely normalize one's antithyroid antibodies and totally normalize their thyroid hormone levels and um, get them to the point where they don't need med uh, medications anymore, that, that's a really good question. Um, I can't say that I've seen getting rid of heavy metals lead to that directly. Um, I have seen those labs normalize before and, um, and it, it really requires a nuanced approach. Um, some patients, it's um, we get the best bang for the buck by getting their gut health on track. And other patients, it's when they resolve their chronic infections with, say, the Lyme disease causing bacteria or chronic viruses or um, or some patients who are having issues with mold illness. Um, so it, it, there's... Um, there are, there's not really a one size fits all. It really depends on well, what's disrupting the physiology in such a way that's causing the thyroid to get or the immune system to get really cranky with the thyroid, and um, any or all of those conditions, or sometimes there's more than one of the above, could contribute to that. Now, heavy metals oftentimes um, uh, get into the mix when those other types of diagnoses or health issues are afoot. Uh, I'm sure that there probably are cases out there where heavy metals are a primary driver. I wouldn't really suspect it though, unless a person was working in an industry or had some other type of exposure where they were getting uh, coming into contact with those metals a lot. So if a person was going to shooting ranges and shooting a lot of lead bullets, or if they were working in a dental office and working with a mercury, mercury amalgam uh, material, or if they were living in a place where there was some contamination of their drinking water, those would all be you know, possible scenarios where it might be more plausible that a heavy metal exposure might be more of a primary driver of um, the pathophysiology contributing to the Hashimoto's. But um, I haven't, I, I don't think, I, I, I have not had any cases, or at least I don't recall any cases where getting rid of the metals was the primary thing that, that helped to normalize the Hashimoto's related labs. Um, with that being said, I've certainly had patients with Hashimoto's where we have tested them, we've found elevated metals, we get the levels of their metals down and they feel better. Um, but in terms of whether that's directly um, uh, led to their antithyroid antibodies looking better or, or certainly you know, going away, have not seen that um, uh, directly in practice. Uh, if any clinicians are, or happen to be watching this and anyone has seen that in practice, I'd love to hear about it. It'd be great to know about. But I've definitely seen heavy metals act as a big um, roadblock or um, obstacle to a person getting all the way well in many different areas. And, and I wouldn't doubt that some of my Hashimoto's patients who have um, got rid of their metals as part of their healing journey, if you will, um, that getting rid of metals was probably important and was probably a stepping stone at least or a contributing factor to their labs looking better um, or, or normalizing in some cases. So I hope that, that information is um, uh, the information that you were looking for, at least that it, it thoroughly answered your question. I suppose the information you're hopefully looking for was, oh yeah, just get rid of heavy metals and everything gets all better. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't give you that answer, but I, I hope that this answered your question. Um, if it didn't, please just post below and I'll try to further clarify. And if anybody has any questions about this or any other topic, I'm happy to answer it with a future video.